I'm in Moss Landing, California, which is right up against Monterey Bay, and I'm filming in the Elkhorn Slough. This slough stretches on for almost 7 miles and is California's second largest estuary and home to over 700 animal species. It was designated as the United States' first estuary sanctuary. Today, what brings me to this critical habitat are the Southern Sea Otters, also known as California Sea Otters. Southern Sea Otters live on the California coast ranging from Half Moon Bay in the north to Santa Barbara in the south. Here at Elkhorn Slough, an estimated population of 140 Sea Otters makes it the highest concentration found anywhere. An interesting fact about sea otters is that they have the thickest coat of any animal on earth. It's incredibly dense, keeping them toasty warm in the cold ocean waters. There are 1 million hairs per square inch, and to keep all this fluff looking fabulous, sea otters spend up to 5 hours every day grooming themselves. When they aren't busy grooming, they also need to eat an extraordinary amount of food to keep up with their fast metabolism. Sea otters eat a quarter of their body weight each day. That means a 65 pound adult male will want to pack away about 16 pounds of food. That's a lot of clams. They'll also feast on sea urchins, snails, mussels, crabs, fish, squid, and more to keep them healthy. Southern sea otters have been through a lot in the past few centuries. At one time, that fabulous fur they have nearly drove them to extinction. The fur trade couldn't get enough of it, and only 50 individual sea otters remained in the direst of times. In 1911, the first protections were put into place to help them recover from the devastation. Now, there's a total population of 3,000 southern sea otters continuing to push on in the face of new threats and challenges. After spending an extended amount of time with a hungry sea otter, Hallie and I went over to the shoreline of Moss Landing State Beach to catch the sunset over the ocean. Clouds quickly moved in and put a fizzle on the colorful show that had begun to unravel. However, there was still one tiny, amazing animal worth capturing no matter the light. Western snowy plovers return to the same beach every year to nest in loose colonies. Their populations have declined due to habitat disruption and are now protected by the Endangered Species Act. With the light quickly fading over moss landing, this will have to be a story to tell another day. <laughs>